Hi, I'm Derek B., editor of the Peru Tribune, here with you for a jam-packed Sunday edition of Tomorrow's News, uh, our video series where I tell you a little bit about what to expect in the next day's newspaper. I've got a ton of stuff that you can find in Tomorrow's uh, Tribune and in uh, the uh, online Tribune tonight at perutribune.com, so let's get to it. On our lead story, uh, we're kicking off a three-day series on the top ten news stories of 2013. Um, I'm writing this myself. Uh, we start tomorrow with numbers 10 through 7. Um, you'll have to read the story to find out what they are, but uh, I can tell you they include uh, some new programs for kids, um, some court proceedings, and uh, some local bills increasing. So uh, be sure to look for that. On our display story, we've got a feature that Chad Abshire has been working on for a while on Rosie's Rescue, uh, which is a local organization that helps animals, uh, gives them uh, medical treatment and other uh, benefits. Uh, they had a uh, fundraiser a while ago that we were able to go to and uh, get some great photos of them uh, taking pictures of dogs of Santa Claus. So it's uh, some great holiday art and a nice uh, heartwarming story as we wrap, wrap up the season. Um, Chad also talked to uh, uh, Jim Yates this week, uh, who is with the Miami County, uh, Miami Cass REMC. Sorry about that. Um, he is retiring on Thursday, so we thought it would be a great time to talk to him about what he's accomplished in his almost 40 years, I'm sorry, more than 40 years with that organization, um, and what he thinks he's going to miss. Um, really some, some great stuff in there from a man who's been a part of this community for a long time and uh, says he's going to continue to be part of it for a while longer. Um, finally, on A1, uh, Chad has a story for us on uh, two fires from Saturday morning that are being investigated as an arson case. Uh, we hope to have more for you on that tomorrow. Um, these are two fires in rural Miami County that happened uh, about 4 a.m. that uh, the state fire marshals and Miami County Sheriff's Department are looking into, so stay tuned there. Uh, on our business page, uh, Chad talked to some folks this weekend about how their Christmas season was, a couple of uh, businesses on Broadway that started this year. So I hope you'll look at that and um, keep local businesses in mind as you continue to use you know, gift cards or, uh, I guess not gift cards, as you continue to use cash or whatever, checks, any kind of uh, money that you got for the holidays, um, we spread that around and keep our, uh, our local businesses thriving. Finally, on the sports play, we've got wall-to-wall -wall coverage of the um, Saturday at the Miami County um, Holiday Classic, uh, the basketball tournament, which is sponsored by Papa John's and by Beef O'Brady's. Um, we ended up with uh, Peru actually going for... Um, both championships, the boys and the girls. Uh, for the girls, it would have it, it would be their fourth in, in a row. Um, Peru McConaughey won the boys championship played at Barnburner, a great game. So we hope you'll uh, pick up the paper and take a look at that game and also the other games that happened that day. Uh, we had Nick Roby out there for the championship games and uh, Michael Brooks, our correspondent, was out there for the consolation games as well. They got some great art and great uh, accounts for you from the games. Um, as always, you can find all of those stories in tomorrow's Print Peru Tribune. You can find them online tonight at perutribune.com. And you can find our stories on Twitter and on Facebook. Uh, you can also find me and our reporters on Twitter as well. Until tomorrow, that's tomorrow's news. I'm Derek B. Have a great Monday.